Khalil, man, you've had uh, back-to-back impressive victories, right? I feel like your personal platform is bigger than it's ever been, sharing the message and getting some momentum. I mean, what does it feel like right now for you? Does it feel like you you kind of where you want to be? Um, well, the first thing is it feels good to be able to have, you know, back-to-back finishes, back-to-back wins. Um, and then, yeah, as, as far as just like the platform and the outreach, um, it's been it's been really well. Um, a little bit overwhelming, a lot of, you know, just a lot of people, a lot of kind of heavy conversations, but um, but overall everything's been good and it's it's been helping me to kind of focus on, you know, on the future. Obviously your message is so powerful, but you're one guy, right? I mean, it's difficult for you to handle all that, I imagine. I mean, is, are you trying to, you know, build more of an outreach or is it a difficult balance for you right now? Um... You know, I, I definitely would love to build more of an outreach, and that's I've I've got to take everything in in little steps, right? Like it, I didn't expect for you know just a a, a flood of you know just different types of people reaching out from like I want to help with book and you know hey I have you know these problems or thank yous so I in order to not be overwhelmed, I had to kind of, okay, I have to attack this, you know, step by step while still maintaining my own, you know, my own personal life and and things like that. So baby steps, but we'll get there. Was that a wild realization? Because I know you said like, hey, I want to be an inspiration, but when it happens and you are an inspiration, there's that many people reaching out. I mean, is that a little bit overwhelming or is almost like inspiring? You're like, oh my gosh, like this, this can, this can work. It's a little bit of both. Um, overwhelming in a sense of to where like I I realized that like okay like I'm also only human right and but also inspiring because it just it calls me to to be a bigger better version of myself so it's a it's a little bit of a mixture but all all in all it's all good I know you got the brand as well, so I mean a lot of busy things happening. It's been like an, I think like an eleven year journey at this point in terms of martial arts. Yeah. Does it feel like it's happening fast right now, or does it feel like this has been a slow build to to get to this moment? Uh, it feels more of a slow build than it does you know than it does fast. Um, it's been you know eleven, twelve years of just preparation and you know and just getting better, learning, growing. So. Um, yeah, I don't feel like anything's really happened overnight. I feel like I've put in a good amount of time and, and energy to, to get to where I'm at today. Obviously, continued positive fight results will help you to continue building that platform. So yeah. what is the balance? Like, what do you have to do? Like, training camp, it's fight time now. Do you just have to shut that all out? Do you try to find a balance during the day? Like, how does that work? Um, balance, absolutely. Uh, but when it comes time to train, that's, you know, that's that's the focus is – you know, lock in and, um, and prepare. Um, that's, you know, that's, that's the best thing and that's what's worked for me. So I don't want to change anything. I just want to make sure that, you know, when I come in here, I do my job, do what I've trained to do. And then afterward, I'll have some time to, you know, to focus on the, you know, the other things that mean just as much to me. Dustin Jacoby, another guy that's kind of been on a journey, man. He's had yeah. some ups and downs to get here. I guess, what do you think about him overall as an opponent and what kind of challenges he presents to you? Um, it's hard for me to answer that question. Um, I think that any opponent that I face is a tough opponent. Um, yeah, and I think that this is also another tough opponent. I think everybody in the UFC top 15 and up, even below, you know, like it's all tough opponents and, you know, I don't take any, anybody lightly. So, um, I'm prepared. You mentioned the top 15. I mean, it seems like a spot in the rankings is on the line here for you. Does that matter to you? I know you're working towards things that are bigger than really just the fight game, but does being in those rankings matter? I mean, is that like a goal that you think about? Yeah, it's, it's definitely a, a goal that I think about. Um, while I'm here and while I'm still fighting, I'd love to continue to just to climb as high as possible. You know, champion being, you know, the, the pinnacle. Um, so the only way to get there is to, to get into the rankings, right? So, yeah, I, th- I think it's something that I aim for, something that I ask for, and, uh, you know, a, a shot that I got. So, Like I said, that opportunity is here last thing for me, I guess. 
I mean, how do you see this thing playing out? Because on paper, it looks like it could be pretty wild, and what you've done in your last two fights has been pretty impressive. So do you feel like you can get another big finish like that? Is this going to be a grind-out war? Like, what, how do you see this thing playing out when you, when you play it out in your mind? I'm going to leave that for, as for a surprise. Yeah. You know, like, I'm no, uh, I'm no Mystic Mac. You know what I mean? I'm not going to come in here and say, but I know what I feel in my heart, and, and I'm ready. I'm prepared. I know, Khalil, your story has always been very inspirational to me, and I think so many others. And with you using this platform, but here it is, fight week, I can see where some people are like, bro, don't ask them these questions about this. Just keep it on the fight. But for you up there, being in fight week, I'm sure there's fight week things you want to think about. Is it still good that people are asking these questions and, and giving you a chance to talk about other issues um, during a fight week? Or would you rather people leave this to another time, maybe not during fight week? Um, you know, I never really think about like, oh, I'd rather this or rather that, or I just show up and, and whatever questions are asked, I answer them as best as I can. Um, I know you guys are doing your best to do your job, you know what I mean? So yeah, I, it, it is what it is, you know, like whether you ask me stuff about, you know, personal life or, uh, or fighting, I just realized that like, you know, <laughs> I, I got to answer, you know, no, no matter what, it's not really up to me, uh, what you guys ask. So, um, I'm okay with, with whatever it's, it's okay. That's what I signed up for. Right. Very true. Yeah. And I, and I know just kind of piggy off, piggyback off what John said. I know in the past too, we don't, we didn't do a good job of asking the right questions for you as well. And for other fighters. So I guess as, as simple as it sounds, how is Khalil doing? How, how are you doing right now in life? in yourself, in your career, in, in your overall level of happiness? How is Khalil doing right now? Wow, man. I think that might have been the first time I've ever been asked that in the history of <laughs> or my, in my time here in the UFC. Um, I'm well. I'm okay. Um, it's been a great fight camp, and every day is a challenge. And... Uh, and I'm here, and I'm here another day, and I'm grateful. And I've come a long way. Um, and life is good. Life is good. I cannot complain. Um, yeah, man, I'm, I'm here. And that's, you know, that's just how I feel at this moment right now is like, I'm here, and I'm grateful, and thank you, really, thank you for asking that. That's awesome, brother. It's, it's great to hear, and, and I guess just one final one, and I'll let you get back, because I know you have Fight Week stuff. Are you still big on crypto? Uh, I know in the past we've seen you wearing your little ledger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and around, are you still high on the, the crypto? I know Bitcoin's taken a bit of a hit yeah, so lately, but are you still high on that whole cybercurrency and all that I, stuff? I absolutely still believe in cryptocurrency. Um, more Bitcoin than anything. I see the, the value in Bitcoin. I see what it can do for people if, you know, if, if, it's, if it's starting to be looked at in the right way, not like a get rich quick scheme or, oh, I'm, I'm losing all this stuff. I think that there's a long term, um, th th there's like a long term solution to a lot of problems, you know, via Bitcoin. Right now we're in, you know, we're in some tough times economically. You know, we see market crashing. We see all this stuff. Um, you know, the value of Bitcoin's gone down. The value of a lot of, bit of uh, crypto has gone down. But overall, um, I think it's just kind of like it's just a time, right? This is a time that we're in. But um, you know, five years from now, ten years from now, I think that it's it's going to be one of the best things that has happened to humanity. You know, like we don't have to worry about so much, so many people and so many middlemen in between how we live our lives or how we become successful or how we make trades or whatever it may be. Like, I think that with Bitcoin, the, the, the biggest thing, the, the speed of transaction and the fact that it can just be peer to peer without anybody having to dip in and take this and, you know, and the value, um, I think it's great. I think it's an amazing technology, <laughs> you know? And um, yeah, I still have my, 
investments. You know, I still keep them. I don't watch everything every day because in my mind, it's not about right now. It's about, you know, what can I pass to my children later on down the line? Because I have to look ahead on technology, the way that the future is going. We see every day there's something new with technology, from phones to how we interact to AI and all of this stuff that we can't really control. It's going, you know, the future is going in forward very rapidly. And there's nothing we can really do about it other than get with the program. So when I take that mentality and that approach, I see like, okay, cool. Um, if there were any kind of like cryptocurrency that I would, you know, bet on, I would, I would put my investments and have put it in Bitcoin. It seems the most strong to me. That's awesome. And just hearing you talk about it, I think it's, it's you could obviously tell you're very passionate about it. Were you talking about trying to start a podcast at one point? Uh, was that something in the works? And if hey, so, where's that at? It got brought up when I did Joe Rogan. He mentioned, he's like, hey, man, you'd be a great podcaster, you know, and he kind of like gave me his blessing in a way. But um, I, I've thought about it, but I've never spent too much time thinking about like, how I'm going to do it or, you know, it, it seems like a lot of work. Um, but who knows? I mean, it's not, it's not completely off the table, but if it ends up being something that's, you know, I guess convenient in a way, you know, then, then yeah, I'll do it. But as of now, I don't have any, like any pieces, you know, in play to, to start the podcast. Yeah. It would be it would be great. I think you're very you have a great inspirational story. I think it'd be another avenue for you to be able to maybe reach some people. But I know you got your hands full. But regardless, uh, good luck this week. Thank you so much. You bet.